Hello everyone. So today I'm coming to you with a video on my Dantour, a Dantour plants. Um, I have started these from seeds. And just to give you guys a little bit of a history about my seeds, um, I've been storing all types of flower seeds in the refrigerator. And some are as old as almost 14 years old. And then some are as young as about maybe six months to a year old. So anyway, regardless, I said I would keep the seeds and, and see if they're um, still active seeds and if they would germinate. So I had these uh, Datura seeds probably about, mm, I think they said 2004. I'll double check and I'll post it below. Um, but anyway, they're very old. So what I did was I soaked them for 24, maybe almost 48 hours um, to allow them to get some water and to soak up the nutrients and also to expand because they were very dry looking and I planted them. So this is the first one here um, and it, it actually sprouted at 15 days after planting from being soaked. And I don't know if you guys can see, but this is the second one. It's now officially on the day of this video, 19 days. And so it's just starting to come up. So I'm very, very, very excited. I do have one. And in a previous video, I actually show you guys a little bit about that one. Um, but I'm hoping that these two that are actually um, sprouting here will be a purple and a yellow, not a white one. So I don't know what I'll get, but we will see. So I will keep you guys posted along with the progress. But also, I wanted to show you my Bergmansias. And um, they're sort of similar to the Detours. But um, they actually have their flower petals that droop downward versus the torus actually drooping or actually looking more like a horn going upwards. So I'm in a garden club as well and I had traded with these plants and I have these uh, three different species of Bermantias. And so one is going to be an Adora and the other two are unnamed um, plants, but they're all going to bloom pink. And so I received cuttings of these uh, now officially a week and two days. And look, I already have roots sprouting. They're in glass jars, the old jars, like spaghetti jars. Cleaned them out and I saved them. And I'm glad I did. And this one was an old pickle jar. So, um, but anyway, this one has started to grow some leaves right there. And you can see the window outside. This is my um, bathroom window. And... Uh, yeah, so I'm very excited and I'm looking forward to keeping you guys posted to see the progress. So I sh hopefully I'll try to combine so that make this video a little bit longer and then you can see the next phase. All right, thanks. Hello everyone. Okay, so today I'm providing an update on my Brookmansias. Um, I have just potted three of them into pots and they are in front of you. It's actually raining now, so I'm going to try to hurry up. This one right in front of you is called Adora. Um, the other one back there is an unnamed bushing. Um, it's going to like be a bushing type of Brugmansia. And this one is also the same. And then I have an aloe plant in front that was in a little, little pot and it grew and grew and grew all winter. So, my goal was to keep most of these plants into a uh, little water, uh, the glass jar water container. But then all of a sudden it started to grow like this one so much that I was like, okay, well, I can't keep these in water all winter long. I really need to put them in soil. And they have full rootstock as well. So um, they are in pots for the winter. I hope that these pots are big enough and we'll hold them until the spring and then I can enjoy them when they bloom. So I will post a picture following this of what one of them will look like, which will be the Adora and then the other ones, I guess I'll keep you posted. So keep, stay tuned. And then in the spring as they bloom, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, also, I wanted to tell you guys that I added uh, calcium, calcium like you would take a supplement calcium. Um, I crushed it up and I added that to the soil around the roots um, to helpfully uh, help them acclimate and give them a little bit of natural type of fertilizer because calcium pills are actually um, natural. They're sort of basically lime. Um, so yeah, it's very natural. So it's not something that's really synthetic. But anyway, it's starting to rain harder. So I just wanted to come in quickly and show you my Bergmansias. I'm so excited. I think these are some of the most beautiful plants. Stay tuned. I'll give you an update very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.